Live inside the evacuation zone where firefighters are doing structure protection tonight. If there's one thing we've learned about these wildfires, it's that they're unpredictable. And so are people's reactions to them. This, and this has got something called calf mana in it. Inside the mosquito fire zone, Greg Heller is the lone person on his Forest Hill Street. He is surrounded by wildlife. If you spend enough time with them, you become attached. And I just had to make sure they're, I see them in a panic mode, you can read them. He says he's staying not only to help feed these deer. 20 to 30 of them a day. But also to protect his neighborhood from looters. Everybody else left. One guy's got to stay, right? Placer County Sheriff's deputies are on round-the-clock patrols in the evacuation zone. In the event of a wildfire flare-up near homes, deputies would drive streets with a high-low siren. They would not knock on individual doors. That's the last thing I want to do is, is make their life difficult. Most people who live near the fire zone have followed evacuation orders like the people who live here. And firefighters have left this note showing there's nobody inside. The box marked civilians present is crossed out. Fire crews continued water drops on Wednesday, working to gain more containment, although they stressed containment is not the only factor in lifting evacuation orders. Utility companies, law enforcement agencies, and firefighters work together to decide when it's time to repopulate. One of the things we really want to avoid happening is letting you back into your homes and then having to ask you to evacuate again in, in short order. Waiting out the mosquito wildfire. Some are doing it as evacuees. You know what? You rely on your gut. And if your gut's telling you, roll, roll, get out of here. Others have stayed in their evacuated neighborhoods all alone. Well, there are currently 11,000 people under evacuation orders in Placer and El Dorado counties combined. And right now, there's no timeline for when those evacuation orders could be lifted. Steve, thank you.